It was all a dream on the scene, making me. Then I came along and changed everything. From cyphers to diapers. Green jiggly jeans. But the grind don't stop. We just got a bigger team. All the way to the top. Mom, what does that mean? The time is now or never. We, we are dream team. team. <laughs> I was going to get paid for this. What's up guys? It's your girl Lyric Kane, aka Nini, aka whatever it is that you want to call me, back with yet another reaction video. As requested in the comment section underneath one of my other videos, today I will be reacting to Low Key Terrorist, the official music video. I've already heard some of his work, I thought it was dope, dope, dope messages, dope lyricists, he writes to be awesome. I couldn't really make out what he was saying completely, but I feel like the more I listen to him, the more I'm able to to actually understand what he's saying, which is really, really dope because he has a message behind everything that he says thus far is what I've seen. So I'm excited to see what's gonna be offered in this video. With that being said, you already know the original video link will be in the description box down below, as well as all of the rest of my social media links. Make sure you follow us on IG, Best Friends Since Birth. Also check out my music page on IG, Lyric Kane Official. Also in the description box down below, you will to find my other YouTube channel. Make sure you head over there and give those videos a thumbs up. Go ahead, hit subscribe, turn on notifications so that you can find out about all of my latest music videos, original songs, cover songs, remakes, remixes, and challenges and live performances. With that being said, we're gonna get right into this video. Middle East, you're a hero. Your country is causing screams that never reach your ear holes. America inflicted a million ground zeros. I thought that was a song. I was like, damn, it just jumped right into it. But I guess this is where it's officially starting, so. So, we must ask ourselves, what is the dictionary definition of terrorism? The systematic use of terror, especially as a means of coercion. But what is terror? According to the dictionary I hold in my hand, terror is violent or destructive acts, such as bombing, committed by groups in order to intimidate a population or government into granting their demands. So what's a terrorist? They're calling me a terrorist, like they don't know who the terror is. When they put it on me, I tell them this. I'm all about peace and love. But they're calling me a terrorist, like they don't know who the terror is. Insulting my intelligence. Oh, how these people judge. It seems like the ragheads and packies are worrying your dad. But your dad's favorite food is curry and kebab. It's funny, but it's sad. How they make your mommy hurry with her bags. Rather read the sun and study all the facts. Tell me, what's the bigger threat to human society? BAE systems or homemade IEDs, remote control drones, killing off human lives or man with homemade bomb committing suicide. I know you were terrified when you saw the towers fall. It's all terror, but some forms are more powerful. It seems nuts. How could there be such agony when more Israelis die from peanut allergies? It's like the definition didn't ever exist. I guess it's all just dependent who your nemesis is. Irrelevant, how eloquent the rhetoric peddler is. They're telling fibs now, tell us who the terrorist they is. They're calling me a terrorist, like they don't know who the terror is. When they put it on me, I tell them this. I'm all about peace and love. But they're calling me a terrorist, like they don't know who the terror is. Insulting my intelligence, oh how these people judge. Was democracy, Mossadegh was democracy, Allende was democracy, hypocrisy, it bothers me. Call you terrorists if you don't want to be a colony. Refuse to bow down to a policy of robbery. Is terrorism my lyrics? When more Vietnam vets killed themselves after the war than died in it, this is very basic. One nation in the world has over a thousand military bases. They say it's religion when clearly it isn't. It's not just Muslims that oppose your imperialism. Is Hugo Chavez a Muslim? Nah, I didn't think so. It's Castro a Muslim? Nah, I didn't think so. It's like the definition didn't ever exist. I guess it's all just dependent who your nemesis is. Irrelevant how eloquent the rhetoric peddler is. They're telling fibs now. Tell us who the terrorist is. They're calling me a terrorist. Like they don't know who the terrorist is. When they put it on me, I tell them this. I'm all about peace and love. But they're calling me a terrorist. Like they don't know who the terrorist is. Insulting my intelligence. Oh, how these people judge. Seven terrorists 
terrorism was now no third man terrorism Diego Garcia was terrorism I am conscious the crunchers were terrorism phosphorus that burns hands that is terrorism earth and stern gang that was terrorism what they did in Hiroshima was terrorism what they did in Fallujah was terrorism Mandela ANC that was terrorism Jerry Adams IRA that was terrorism every prince black Every day USA that is terrorism Every day UK that is terrorism Every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day Every day Oh, yeah You think that we Ahmed. Infidel. So you're a terrorist? Yes. I am a terrorist. What kind of terrorist? A terrifying terrorist. <laughs> Silence! I kill you! Okay, um, let me start off by saying I've seen some of his other work, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I like the chorus. Um, dope message behind the chorus. Love the melody of it. Love the flow. I love the message of it. Um, once again, I couldn't make out quite everything, but the visuals definitely helped. Um, I like the part where he played himself and then he played the person who was like interrogating himself. I think this is like the third video I've seen somebody do that. I think I've seen NF do it in therapy session and I've seen Token do it in um, Doozy. So I think I, I, I'm kind of liking that, that little visual there. Um, I love the message once again. Oftentimes we, we give these labels to people based off of one act. So if someone, like for instance, um, in this situation, you know, Osama bin Laden or whoever it is because I'm not exactly sure I'm I can only tell you what was presented to me through media which isn't always correct but the whole nine after 9-11 let's base it off that after the 9-11 event people start laboring label labeling basically anybody of the Muslim background as a terror or as a, as a terrorist which isn't correct because you can't take one you can't take one person's action or a group of people's action and try to just basically say like the whole group is bad. Like that goes back to the whole black thing. Yeah, I keep going back to the black thing because I'm black so I know the most about it. <laughs> but like if one, like for instance, a couple of black people make poor decisions and before you know it, everybody's like, oh, black people are bad people or all black guys are thugs, which is not true. The same way all Muslims are not terrorists. And some of the um, things that he gave example of, those would be defined as terrorist acts based off of the book that he just read, which is addiction which is where you're supposed to define your words at so based off the definition it sounds like there's a lot of other people out there who should wear the title terrorist but they don't and it's simply because it all depends on who your nemesis is like you said whoever you're particularly against at that time that's who you deem the terrorist and I mean how often is it when somebody points a finger that they're willing to point it back at themselves but there's a cool saying to say whenever you point one finger at somebody 
I'm gonna do it this way. There's always three pointing back at you. So sometimes we have to, people have to stop and take the blame for what we, for our actions and what it is that we do. Um, but the same way, I think it's really crazy how he's basically saying in the song that um, basically we all shouldn't be judged. Like we shouldn't judge Muslim, we shouldn't judge Muslim as a whole as being terrorists based off the acts of what certain people did. But I almost feel like that's what he's doing to Americans as a whole. Like, okay, he showed a couple of pictures of some, some individuals at the end who he believes did terrorist acts. But in his song, he said terrorist, which is USA every day. I kind of feel like he has like this, I don't want to say a hatred because his song, his songs are um, very powerful. He's obviously very um, passionate about what he feels, but I feel like it, he's almost contradicting himself by saying you shouldn't judge people as a whole for what a certain group of people did. But that's basically what he's doing like in his song and I could be wrong so get in the comment section down below and let me know what your thoughts are but I feel like that's kind of what he's doing is to the USA like he's basically saying like he's faulting us and when I say us I mean like all of us remind you there's like 50 states in the US in the United States and I feel like he's just kind of like shunning all of us into this little category box that's being like th the people who are responsible for this when the truth of the matter is it's kind of his same it's kind of the same situation as his you can't label all of us as being terrorists or just being these horrible people based off of the the acts of some people and on top of that with us the acts of these people are our superiors like we can't be like i don't know obama or bill clinton or hillary on a personal like look bruh look sis that shit ain't cool like don't do that like i don't have that type of connection so why are you pointing fingers at all of the americans and if i'm wrong please get in the comment section down below let me know what your thoughts and ideas was try to explain it to me a little bit better like i said i did kind of struggle to hear exactly what he was saying not due to volume or anything but just simply because of his accent so if you want to get down below break it down for me a little bit better please i would love that once again i'm a fan of his i love the fact that he's so passionate about what he has to say he's not afraid to get out there and vocalize it some people feel some type of way and they don't say it because they're so used to conforming and fitting in with the group and just going along with the flow. And I love to find people, especially artists, who are not afraid to speak their minds and say what's right and what they feel is wrong. With that being said, you already know. Give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit subscribe and turn on notifications. And until next time, guys, peace out. I'm out of here.